Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for MotionTutorials.net with a quick Cinema 4D and Facebook 3D tutorial about how to take an object in Cinema 4D and get it to post correctly as a 3D object on Facebook. That's a 3D post where it's just rendering the actual 3D object where you can rotate it around and view all 360 degrees of the object. So here we have this Photoshop icon that I've made in Cinema 4D starting off with a cube and some letters and I've simplified the geometry away from extrudes and commands that you might find in menus like this to just the geometry with different materials on each piece of it and this started out like this where you can see quickly here I have all these different types of icons and this is live Motex and an extruded rectangle and you do need to take these elements and press the C key and do a bit of work sometimes to move it down to being a file like this where it's just the geometry. So if you do some trial and error tests and it's not working, this is one thing to kind of work through adjusting to get the look that you want out of your file is making everything just the geometry, simplifying the materials to not have things like selection tags and just doing trial and error until you get it to match up in Photoshop. Then what you need to do is do file export and we can save this as a Colada DAE or OBJ. I like to go OBJ to get the look that's worked the best for me. I'll save this as Photoshop icon V9. You can see I had to do quite a few tests just to try to work out some of the kinks. Save that. I'll press OK. The setting is fine. And then right now as of 2019 in February, the best way to do this so far is there's a website to convert this to a GITF. That is the 3D format that Facebook can currently read. Now in the future, OBJ might work and there might be more options and it's an easier workflow, but this is it right now. So I'll post the link to this website in the details of this tutorial. And I'm gonna locate that OBJ and the material. We can grab both of those and select them both and we'll go to drag it onto here. It's gonna give us a quick preview of what this is gonna look like in 3D, which helps to test to make sure it's gonna work correctly. And then it's gonna download this GLB version of the file, which is great. That'll work. So then I can just go to show and finder. Here is that file. And then I can just drag this over onto Facebook in the desktop app where you create a post. You don't have to do anything different than a photo or a video. You just drag this over. It's going to process it and automatically upload as a 3d file. And I can drag this around and see it works. And the cool thing about these types of posts is, it's gonna render just as the object. So it's as if it has an alpha channel and you can change the background to one of Facebook's built-in backgrounds to get something that works with the colors. You could even type your normal post and then we can share. It's gonna process and there we have that 3D icon. So what's cool is if you scroll up and down and this works the same on mobile, it's going to rotate that icon around a little bit and you can rotate it in full 3D. And if you wanna learn more about all the current details of this there's also a developer page that facebook has that goes in through all of the information on how to do this from 3d apps with the shaders and materials and show you what works as well as other 3d apps like blender 3ds max maya all the settings that currently work so again this might get a little more streamlined and straightforward in the future but right now coming out of cinema 4d which is my preferred tool the best way to get this out is save it as an obj drop it into here to convert it to a GITF, it'll output that GLB and you can just drag that straight into Facebook. So hopefully this was a useful little Cinema 4D Facebook 3D quick tip on how to do 3D posts. If you want to learn more about my other tutorials and doing all sorts of stuff in 3D motion graphics and animation, be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I have well over 100 tutorials on all sorts of different subjects in those industries. And hit me up on Twitter, I'm at Sean Frangella, or check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials if you want to get in touch with me and talk about any of these topics and any tutorials and anything in the VFX industry. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next video. Mm -hmm.